Welcome to this lesson on functions and graphs. Let's review the coordinate plane. So if you remember, the coordinate plane is a two-dimensional plane formed by a horizontal axis called the x-axis and a vertical axis called the y-axis. So let's label these parts of the coordinate plane. So this vertical axis is my y-axis. The horizontal axis is my x-axis. The middle, 0, 0, is called the origin. And then there are four quadrants of a coordinate plane, four quarters. There's the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant and they are labeled using Roman numerals. And you may also want to add the signs. So if a point falls within the first quadrant, the signs of that coordinate point are going to be positive and positive. In the second quadrant, they're going to be negative, positive. In the third quadrant, negative, negative. And in the fourth quadrant, positive, negative. Okay, so let's practice graphing these coordinate points. So I'm going to graph point A at 1, 4. So remember when you're graphing points, you always go left and right first and then up and down. So I'm going to go positive 1, so right 1, and then positive 4, so up 4. And that's point A. All right, B is at negative 3 and negative 5. So I'm going to go left 3. One, two, three, and then down five. C is at negative eight, six, so I'm going to go left eight and then up six. And D is at positive five, negative five, so I'm going to go right five, down five. Okay, pause the video now and see if you can plot the rest of those coordinate points and make sure you label them with the corresponding letter. Alright, so let's see how you did. E is at 9, 8, so right 9, up 8. F is at negative 2, negative 10, so down here. G is at negative 3, 7, so left 3, up 7. H is at 6, 10, so right 6, up 10, so all the way up here at the top. I is negative 1, negative 8, so left 1, down 8. J is a positive 4, negative 5, so right here beside D. K is 3, 4, so right 3, up 4. And L is negative 7, negative 7. So left 7 and then down 7. Okay, so I'll give you a second. Make sure your coordinate points are in the right position. All right, let's move on to determining if a graph relation is a function. So we've already talked about how to determine if a table, if ordered pairs, and if a mapping diagram is a function. So let's look at graphs. So there's something called the vertical line test, and that's a test to determine whether a graphed relation is a function. So the first thing you want to do is find something to use as a straight vertical line. It can be your pencil, it can be a ruler, it can be your finger. And we're going to start at the left side of the graph, and we're going to slide the vertical line across the graph until we reach the right border. And what we're looking for is, does the line ever touch the graph in more than one place? And if it does, the relation is not a function. So we're looking, does it touch in more than one place? Okay, so take a ruler, take your pencil, take your finger, and mimic this line that I've drawn. And I want you to slide across the graph 
and the graph doesn't start until over here so you're going to be sliding all the way mimicking how I'm drawing and see if at any time your line is touching that graphed shape more than once and you should have gotten no it doesn't so if it does not touch more than once that means it is a function so this is a function all right we're going to say try the same thing with the second example so i'm going to start over here and if you want to actually draw lines like i'm doing all the way across the graph you can totally do that too so i already see actually on this one right here it's touching here and it's also touching here and then it continues to do that it's touching here and here and here this is touching here here and here so since it's touching at more than one place that means no it is not a function so that is the vertical line test okay go ahead and pause the video and try the bottom four examples by yourself and then we'll check it okay so number one you should have gotten not a function you draw a line it's touching at more than one spot on that vertical line two is a function I can't draw any vertical lines and it touched that line at more than one spot three is also a function and four is also a function and in this course in algebra one we're going to be dealing with mainly functions so you're going to see a lot of functions and that is fine all right so you can go ahead and stop the video now and complete your practice and check it with your teacher